You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. We're faced with challenges every day. Challenges with your family, with your kids, with your career, with your confidence. This is The Carolyn Rivera Show with your host as seen on CBS's Survivor, Mama C. Mama C will discuss how to enhance your leadership style and gain the confidence to pursue your dreams with no-nonsense talk on how to challenge the status quo and create your future. So now, please welcome the host of The Carolyn Rivera Show, Mama C. Welcome to the Carolyn Rivera Show. You are listening to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and I am your host, Mama C. Yeah, baby. Hello, hello. We are back for another great show tonight. I hope everyone had a fabulous week or weekend. Uh, Well, this week for me was focused on completing kind of some last minute things for my book. And when I was thinking about what I should talk about this week, I thought I'd give you guys some insight as to what my book is all about. I am super excited for the book to be finally published. The name of it is Plant Your Flag, The Seven Secrets to Winning. So what exactly does that mean? Well, think about it. What does it mean to plant your flag? Well, when we came up with this title, when you plant your flag, you're claiming victory. You're claiming that you have won the game, whatever that game is. So my book is all about winning at leadership. And I talk about how do you win as a leader and what does leadership actually mean? I've worked with leaders throughout my career and I've learned a lot from all of them. The last 30 years, let's say I've worked in the corporate world and my roles have been working with people to improve themselves to learn a new skill or to perfect the skills that they already have. And I've worked with both senior executives at the highest level within an organization, as well as the associates at all levels within a company, the people who actually get the work done. And it's so rewarding to be able to see people learn new skills or when you look at them And you see that something clicks for them. You can tell on their face that they finally get it. That's why I love my job so much. My goal is to have that click, that that look on their face for everyone I work with. And that's all about personal growth. My book looks at it through a little bit of a different lens. I've written about what does leadership mean. In today's environment, the word leadership is one of those buzzwords that people love to use, right? Everyone wants to be thought of as a great leader. But what exactly does that mean? I mean, so many people have different ideas on what a leader is. And, and I thought that I define it for you from my point of view. So, well, I'll start with professor Paul Thornton, because when I did my research 
what he actually said really resonated with me. He says, effective leaders believe that individuals, organizations, and even nations possess undiscovered talents and untapped resources. They seek to unleash the full potential of their followers so that they can reach higher and go farther than they previously thought possible. Now that is powerful, right? Finding those undiscovered talents, not only within yourself, but within others and unleashing the full potential for other people and watching them learn and grow. That's what leadership is. Leadership is not about you. It's about unleashing the potential of others to be selfless and to look for ways to help other people. And there are so many examples of different types of leaders in my book, right? I give some examples of thought leaders, of courageous leaders, inspirational leaders, and servant leaders. But the one thing that they all have in common, in all cases, these individuals had a message that resonated with others. They had a strong conviction about what they believe in, and that comes across to those that follow them. Because people choose who they want to follow. They're not required to do so. A true leader ignites a spark within others. They inspire others. And for that reason, those people want to follow them. They feel connected to the individual and what that individual stands for, even if they've never met them, right? You could be tied to somebody based on their message simply by hearing them. You can feel tied to a musician because of the lyrics of their song, and you can feel what they feel when they sing it. You can be inspired by somebody who writes a book because You connect with that book. You feel what they feel. And that's what makes you want to follow them. They feel connected to the individual because of what the individual stands for. Their values are linked together in some way. And some people think you have to be born a leader. But I believe that there are skills that you can learn to be an effective leader. And every one of us has skills, perspectives, experiences, and ideas that can be used to help others. Every single one of us. You just need to want to use them. You just have to want to go out of your way, not for yourself, but for others. Leadership happens all day, every day. It's all around us, whether you're cognizant of it or not. Anytime someone takes an idea, shares a plan of action, and puts that plan into motion and makes it happen, they're leading others. But leadership is constantly changing. It's a dynamic process As our environment changes, our norms change. And so does our leadership style. Think about it. Years ago, leadership was thought of in a very different way. We are about to go to a commercial break. You're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show, and I'm your host, Mama C on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. After the break... We will continue to talk about and define what leadership is. And later in the show, I will open up the lines for our listeners to call in and give me your thoughts on leadership. 
Have you encountered great leaders? So grab a pen, jot down this number. The number is 866-451-1451. We'll be right back. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C., Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. Welcome back. I am your host, Mama C, and this is the Carolyn Rivera Show on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. So we're talking about leadership today and how leadership is constantly changing, changing, right? It's it's changed over the years because when you think about it, back in the day, leadership with, was thought of as more of somebody linked to a specific position. So that's kind of like position power, right? So what does that mean? Well, it means that because you have a certain position, people feel like they're required to follow you. Well, certainly in an organization, if you're the CEO, people have to follow you, right? And and you you are the one that kind of is in charge and, and the strategy and everything is linked to you. And if I work for that company, I have to follow you whether I choose to or not. If I choose not to, I have to leave the company, right? So that's kind of what we mean by position power, right? Because you, you hold a position that gives you that title. And many of us consider, right, our boss to be a leader because he or she is in charge. But they might not really be an effective leader. They might not have the skills to inspire others to do things. So just because you have a higher position with more responsibility That doesn't mean that you're an effective leader. And I think we have examples of this in our our environment today. And over the years, we've evolved. We have, in my opinion, become a more open society. And I think we've changed our perspective of what leaders look like. And my book talks about what it takes in today's environment to be a great leader? What skills do you need to have and how do you enhance the skills that you already have? Well, people today are looking for leaders, right? They're starving for those that can inspire them, to push them, to help them reach their goals. And to me, it's truly a skill and a mindset to push yourself and others to achieve more. And sometimes you don't really set out to be a leader. 
You just go about your life, but your actions are what makes you a leader. I started my journey of uncovering what leadership means years and years ago. I was like this sponge talking to people who were successful at leadership and looking for examples of what made them successful. And I also looked at those that were not successful and determined what they were doing to undermine their own success at leading people. And I talked to many other people, as many people as possible to get their thoughts and insights as well. I did my research throughout my entire career. And let me tell you, there were so many leadership books out there. Today, there, there's a leadership book on every shelf, but mine's a bit different. It looks at things through a different lens. Whether you're a corporate executive, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, whether you're a captain of your soccer team, all of those examples are of people that are leading others. You see, leaders come in all shapes and sizes, and that's the beauty of the evolution. Because it's not just about the corporate executive that's the powerful leader. Some of the most powerful leaders look very different. You can be a leader in your field, setting the standard for others to follow. Think about it. Years ago, computers were the size of a large room. Now they fit into the palm of your hand. What does that equate to? It, it equates to somebody with a vision, somebody who saw something different, who, who followed that vision and made it happen and got others along the way. Years ago, the gymnast Nadia Comaneci, at the age of 14, scored the first perfect 10 in the Olympics in 1976. But today, her routine wouldn't even make the national team. She was a leader in her sport then, but would not be considered a leader today unless she changed with the times, unless she adapted and continued to challenge the status quo. Leaders are always looking to challenge the status quo. They're looking to push the envelope. They're looking for those people that have that same mindset to help them on their journey, to look for that endless road of possibilities. In many leadership books, you'll read, they will talk about getting a group of people and leading towards a common goal. That's the definition. And that was always thought to be the only action of a leader. My thoughts are different. Yes, you need that, but that is no longer enough. You need much more than that as well. You need action. You need forward thinking. You need to challenge the status quo so that you don't get complacent. And I'm not here to tell you that there is just one way to lead because every situation is different. Every person is different. But there are certain common and vital traits that leaders must have. They must have conviction. They must have passion. They must have courage in order to stand out. Think about somebody who inspires you. Think about someone who you consider to be a great leader and what are the things that they do to make you want to follow them? What are the feelings that they leave you with when you're with them? Ask yourself those questions to find them for yourself. What do you consider to be a great leader and why? We need to take a break. You're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show, and I'm your host, Mama C on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. 
And after the break, we will continue talking about leadership. So don't touch that dial. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. We are back, and this is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and I'm your host, Mama C, and you're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show. Well, before the break, I was talking about how leaders come in all shapes and sizes and how you must challenge the status quo to remain relevant as a leader. And my book talks about that throughout the book. But there's something different about my book. I've added the survivor twist. I've talked about it before. I was lucky enough to be a contestant on the best reality show of all time, Survivor. Yeah, baby. And I was able to interview and talk with so many players throughout the years. And I've added in some insights from some of the Survivor winners. I wanted to find out from them how they were able to win at such a tough game. You know, what skills did they use in their 39-day journey to victory? So you will see just how they describe the leadership skills necessary to win at the game of Survivor. You'll be able to see it from their point of view. And even though Survivor is a game and there are, you know, things that you have to do that you may not really do in the real world. It does take skill to win the game. It does take leadership skills to get people to do things that you need them to do, just like in life. So if you're one of those contestants ready to go out and play the game, you will want to see just what these survivor winners had to say about leadership. You'll want to hear their thoughts and how they used their skills to win and achieve victory. Remember, when you plant your flag, you're claiming victory. And each one of those survivor winners did just that. Now, there are some confusion when you think about leaders and There's always a discussion that I wanted to really talk through in terms of what is the difference between the role of a manager and the role of a leader. So 
I thought I'd start by defining it for you today. So a manager is all about the work. They put a plan in place. They figure out what it takes to get the work done. The work with, they, they work with others to manage the processing of the work. It's, it's a person who controls the activities of others. So some words that are used to describe managers are they're directing, they're controlling, they're coordinating, and um, they're harmonizing a group of people that are working towards a common goal. So they have people who work for them, right? Because they're focused on the work. Leaders are, are focused on the people. The words that describe leaders are more linked to influence, motivate, inspire, and enable others. So managers are basically task oriented. They're focused on the task at hand and, and will do whatever it takes to accomplish that task. Managers are persistent and they like more of the analysis and, you know, managers, as I mentioned, are focused on the completion of the work and leaders are focused on the people. They're focused on how the people will feel. What will it take to get the people to accomplish the goal? They have more of the big picture focus to see and create the future vision. So leaders are focused on the people and understanding what it takes to get people to want to follow them. So what does this mean? I always talk about the fact that people need to be able to play both roles because there are certain times when you need something to get done and you have to figure out a way to make it happen. You have to figure out what it takes to get the work done and focus on just that. And there are times when you must be able to see the big picture, to focus on how to inspire others, to understand the needs of others. So for some, understanding the needs of others may be easy for them. And for others, it may be difficult. So what you need to do is identify where you are. What is your comfort zone? And then determine what you need to improve in order to be more effective. Because some people have that intuitive feeling on others. They, they can see, you know, what people are feeling. They can feel what people are feeling and others have a harder time with that. So you have to determine where you are. What is your comfort, com- comfort zone? Where do you feel comfortable in the management space or do you feel comfortable in the leadership space? Where do you see yourself What are your personal leadership goals? These are questions that you must answer individually because no one can do it for you. You're in total control of your own destiny in that respect. And the thing is that you have to be honest with yourself because the only way that you're going to be able to improve yourself as a leader is by being honest with your skill set today. Where are you today? We're going to stop for a minute for our sponsors. I'm your host, Mama C, and this is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and you're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show. After the break, I'll give you some of the things that you must think about in order to perfect your own leadership skills. And later in the show, if you have questions, you can call in at 866-451-1451. 
Don't go away. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. This is the Carolyn Rivera Show, and I am your host, Mama C, and you're listening to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I have been talking about leadership, what the definition is, and what is the difference between a leader and a manager. And I talked about the questions that you need to answer to really uncover where you personally need to continue to develop. Now, what you personally need to work on in order for you to feel comfortable with your own skill set. And the first step is to really and truthfully determine where you are today. Because how successful are you today in your leadership approach? In your leadership style? How important is it to you? Think about it. If we are comfortable in the day-to-day, then nothing will change. What you tolerate every day, you will not change. You have to see that comfort as a problem that you have to fix. If you don't see it as a problem, then you're not going to do anything about it. You have to see that complacency as a problem that you have to fix because nothing changes until you realize that you just can't take it anymore. And you finally have come to the end of your rope and you're ready to do something about it. And we can talk until we're blue in the face, but that alone won't change anything. So the mindset of a leader is something that I talk a lot about because the mindset of a leader sets the tone for those that follow them. Think about it. If your leader cuts corners, you're going to do the same thing. If someone who you respect finds an easy way out, you're going to do the same thing. A leader is a role model for others. And you have to think of yourself as a role model and every single thing that you do every single day, people are watching. They're making judgments about. They're putting it into their bag of tricks because if you're a leader, people want to be just like you. They want to do the things that you do. They want to follow you. So today I'm going to focus on the things 
to look out for. The things that can get in your way of being effective. And I do this because it helps you to think about how you personally are operating today. It helps you to see if you are undermining your own success by falling into these traps. So I will outline what those things are. And then over the next few weeks, I'll talk more about the characteristics that make a great leader. So bear with me through this process. I know it may sound a little backwards to you, but I'm doing this specifically for a reason because I want you to determine how you operate today and uncover if in fact you are falling into some of these pitfalls yourself. So the first pitfall that I want to talk about is feedback. There are a couple of things to consider when you think of feedback. The first is that feedback is a gift and it must happen. So if you're a leader and you're not providing feedback, that, my friends, is a big problem because people are looking for feedback. People are looking for things that tell them how they are doing. So when you don't provide feedback at all, It can be misconstrued as you just don't care enough because you don't think it's important enough or you don't think they're important enough. People take that very personally. So if you're a leader, are you providing feedback? That is step number one. So the answer to that question is either yes or no. Now, Sometimes on the opposite end of the spectrum, you may be providing too much feedback. And what I mean by that is too much negative feedback. You must have a balanced approach to providing feedback. If you only focus on the negative, the person will most likely dismiss it or rationalize it themselves in their own mind because every time you provide them feedback, it's always negative. So it, it kind of loses its powerfulness, if that's even a word. It, it, it loses its, its power because it's constant, negative feedback, right? It's draining. It, it pulls people down. So you have to be balanced in your approach to giving feedback and feedback must be specific and you must provide clear examples of exactly what you're talking about. The worst thing to say to someone is you are doing great or from a negative standpoint, Nothing is going well. Now, think about it. You are doing great. What does that mean to me? I have no idea. What what am I doing that's so great? What should I continue to do that is so great? Because I have no idea because you haven't told me. So in each of those examples, there's nothing that is specific that I can walk away with and change. Whether I, whether I need to make sure that I continue to do it because it's fabulous or the things that I need to stop doing because they're not working. So in that respect, I won't change anything. Now, this is one of my favorite examples because I venture, I, I would venture to say that everyone listening has used this phrase. And you provide feedback to somebody by saying this, and I quote, you have a bad attitude. Now, we have to take a break, and I'm going to pick this up right after the break. 
because this is kind of one of my favorite uh, things to talk about. I'm your host, Mama C, and this is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and you're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show. After the break, I'm going to give you a few more mistakes that leaders make. The lines will be open, 866-451-1451. Stay tuned in. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 B.C. when the Sumerians invented the first written language, and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 B.C. to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 B.C. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. We are back on the air, and you're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show, and I'm your host, Mama C, on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Okay, so before the break, I mentioned that most of us have used this phrase before, right? You have a bad attitude? (coughs) Excuse me. I mean... Certainly, for those of us that are parents, we've definitely used that phrase on our kids. And then we wonder why nothing changed, right? We look at our kids, they look at us, they're like, okay, what are we supposed to change? And are we surprised because nothing has changed? Yeah, define attitude. It can mean something different to everyone listening. So if you're expecting something to change, the chances are slim, right? That a change will take place. A better way to say or give feedback is to say something like, you need to stop rolling your eyes at me when I'm asking you to review your homework. Now, if I'm a kid, right? If I'm your child, I now know exactly what I'm supposed to change. I need to stop rolling my eyes at you. So feedback is very important. And you must give feedback because everyone wants feedback, right? They might say that they don't, but really deep down, people want to know how they're doing. And you can't focus only on the negative. You must be balanced in your approach with both the things that you want them to change and the things that you want them to continue to do. And lastly, make sure that you are very specific so they know exactly what to change because as a leader that is your job right your job is to make sure that they understand what they're doing and how they're doing another mistake that some leaders make is they fail to understand what true motivation is right the issue here is that everyone is motivated differently. There is not a one size fits all concept here. So what does that mean? It means that you have to spend the time to get to know the people that you are attempting to lead. 
You have to understand what makes them tick. You have to figure out why they feel like they want to be linked to your agenda. You have to determine who they are and what's important to them. And it is not always easy. I mean, the easy example is, well, why don't you just ask them? Well, because it's not that easy because sometimes people don't feel comfortable providing that feedback. Sometimes people don't really and truly know why they're doing things or they're not sharing that with you. So you have to figure out how to determine what's important to them. And again, this is not about you. This is totally about them. Motivation is finding the reason that one person acts in a certain way. So think about it. If your child is acting out, what is the reason? Well, do they want more attention? Do they feel sick? Do they not understand why something is happening? Your reaction will be different depending on the reason that they're doing what they're doing. And I also love this example. Let's say you punish one of your children for, you know, doing something bad and you take away the PlayStation and that child is totally devastated, right? They love the PlayStation and it really hits home with them that when they can't play on it for a week and then you decide to use the same punishment on your second child, but they never play with it. What type of response do you think you're going to get if you want that second child to change? They haven't felt anything by removing the PlayStation, right? They don't, they don't know or see any consequence. Now, this is a, an example of, you know, taking something away, but motivation works when you're, you know, that, that, that's a negative motivation example, but it works in, in both ways. You know, why do you go to work? How did you select the company that you work for? Was it based on the company values because your values link to the company values? Was it based on pay because they offered you this fabulous job with this great pay? Is it because you absolutely love the work that you do? All of those examples are examples of motivation. And if somebody is motivated by money and you mo- and you don't see it that way and you give them a different type of recognition, you're not going to motivate them because you haven't figured out what's important to them. And remember, this is not about you. Every employee is different. Have you ever worked in a place where there's like this one employee at work where people like kind of ignore they, that this individual may act out and, and people just brush it off by saying, oh, that's just so-and-so. We ignore her or him most of the time. That's horrible, right? If you're the leader, think about it. Your employees are expecting you to do something about it. They're expecting you to put on your big girl pants and make sure that that behavior is not tolerated in the workplace. That's the role of a leader. And when a, a, when a, a leader avoids conflict in that manner, you're undermining your ability to lead because you're going to lose the respect of other people who you work with, other people who work for you. Well, we are about to take a break. I am your host, Mama C, and this is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and you're listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show. After the break, 
We will put this all together. Stay tuned in. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266. Now is your time. We are back. This is the Carolyn Rivera Show, and I am your host, Mama C, and you're listening to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. So today we talked all about leadership, one of my favorite topics. And leadership is such an important role to play anywhere, right? Leaders come in all shapes and sizes, And they're skills that you can perfect to improve yourself as a leader. But remember, it all starts with you. You're in control of how you operate and how you act. And as a leader, you're a role model. Remember, people are watching you. They're watching your every move that you make. Right. I always tell leaders that they're like actors and actresses. They're on stage 24 seven, right? People look up to you as a leader. People want to be where you are as a leader. That's when you know that you are successful. You have to determine What's important to you? We talked about the difference between being a leader and being a manager, right? A manager focuses on the work, moving that work forward and executing a strategy. It's more of the analytical role, moving that work forward. And you are looking to manage people through a process to get the work done. And leadership is all about focusing on the people. You're leading people and working with them to see a vision through completion. And it's more about the people than the process. And as a business person, you have to be able to do both because there are certain times when you have to manage the work to hit a deadline. And there are other times when you're looking to develop people, to inspire others to succeed, to motivate them to want to follow you. Because remember, they have a choice. They can choose to follow you or not. We talked about stepping back and really thinking about where you are today. How do you operate today? Are you an effective leader? Have people told you 
that you're effective. Remember, you don't get to rate yourself as a leader. You don't get to rate your leadership skills. They're determined by the other people, the people that follow you. You may think you're a fabulous leader, but if people don't agree, well, then you're just fooling yourself. Some people have a bigger ego than others, and sometimes that ego gets in their way. So I've given you information today, and, you know, my book has much more, and you can go to my website and pre-order your copy of my book, Plant Your Flag, The Seven Secrets to Winning. And I'm offering the first 100 books as a discounted price, and I will sign each one of those copies when I mail it out to you. And also, when you go to my website, hit the subscribe button because I'm also having another drawing for an autographed picture from Survivor and a 15-minute Skype call with me. Next week, we'll have another great show on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. Remember, the Carolyn Rivera Show is all about you, the listener. Follow me on Instagram at the Carolyn Rivera Show. And if you're ready to ignite your will to win, enhance your leadership effectiveness, build a strategic plan, or reprogram your mindset, I'm here to help you. My passion is to watch people succeed. Remember, believe, commit, achieve, the secret sauce you're looking for. This is Mama C signing off. Yeah, baby. You've been listening to The Carolyn Rivera Show with your host, Mama C. Listen each week as Mama C ignites your will to win and change your mindset here on The Carolyn Rivera Show. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company. 